from NORAD, North American Air Defense Headquarters, protecting both America and Canada, direct communication exists with SHAPE, Allied Headquarters near Paris, and with its subordinate commands in Europe. Within SHAPE itself is a command post called SHOC, SHAPE Operations Center, which is in constant touch with all the forces in the field that help defend Western Europe. Maintaining communications is a difficult job with standard equipment. NATO needed something better than the usual radio relay systems, which are subject to interference and may be overheard in Eastern Europe. Today, when a staff officer issues an instruction or receives information, he uses Forward Scatter, a brand new communication system that keeps the headquarters in touch with Izmir in distant Turkey, or from the same central station near Paris, brings Naples at the end of a telephone. extends down the entire Norwegian coast to Oslo. The result of years of applied research, the principle of forward scatter is simple enough. Standard relay systems use a chain of many small stations, each beamed directly one to the next. Around the Earth exist layers of particles, the ionosphere and the troposphere, known to reflect radio signals. Messages can be bounced off these layers to a station many hundreds of miles away. The costly and easily jammed intervening stations are eliminated. In Norway, four stations join the country from end to end, built on mountaintops and angled at the next station in the line. They are linked in Holland by a different kind of transmitter, relaying messages to and from shape and shock. This revolutionary system assures that through its own headquarters, any unit of NATO in Europe is linked to supreme headquarters of the Allied powers. This Norwegian patrol ship is a typical member of the NATO team. Wherever it goes, it is linked with the forces of 15 nations by modern communications networks, which are devised built and operated for defense by the scientists and technicians of NATO.